What's up guys, um, before we actually get into the main part of this video, I want to let you guys know about something. If you were in the stream yesterday and you already know about the survey and you already took the survey, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the next part of the video. But in case you weren't, I want to explain something to you guys really quick. There is a podcast called This Week in MLB The Show. It's a weekly podcast where they talk about the game, they talk about the content, what they like, what they don't like. You know, it's just, it's a weekly MLB This Show uh, podcast and it's really cool. I know the guys that run it. They're really, really nice guys. Um, and they did something last year during the show 17 around this time they did a end of the year survey where they released a survey out to the public it was like 50 questions and it asked just like you know what did you like about this part of Diamond Dynasty what was your least favorite part about Diamond Dynasty what do they need to fix what was the worst card to use you know just a bunch of questions about Diamond Dynasty and uh, they had a lot of people fill it out and I know for a fact that the developers did see the survey results and now they're doing the same thing this year uh, with a survey so in the description of this video there is a link to a survey if you guys would like to fill it out it doesn't take any more than 10 minutes it's 50 questions they're all uh, simple multiple choice answers all you got to do is fill that out and then once you're done that's it you're good you don't have to do anything else if you want to see Diamond Dynasty improve if you want to see the game get better this is your way of directly telling the devs because I know for a fact they're going to see the results I can't guarantee what they're gonna do with the results I can't guarantee if they're gonna use them or not but they are at least going to see them so this is the best possible way you can go directly to the developers let them know how you feel so go check out that survey down there I will be on the this week in MLB the show podcast going over the results in a couple weeks so uh, make sure you guys tune in for that too but anyway on to the new stuff. So today is August 31st, and that means the ranked season is coming to a close for August. That means the September one will be starting up tomorrow, or midnight tonight, or whenever, you know what I mean? And just like every other ranked season, we are going to be getting a brand new reward. So let's take a look at who it is. 95 overall Luis Gonzalez is going to be the next ranked season reward. So let's take a look at this card, let's break it down. He's a left fielder who can also play right field um, 95 overall like I said he's a lefty that's really nice having a big lefty bat is good um, 99 90 contact 114 97 power with 87 vision now I'm just gonna say it this is 100% the best rank season reward we've gotten all year this is this is the one this is the type of card that we want to see as a rank season reward it's kind of, it sucks that I took all the way to August or September to actually get a card like this but this is the type of card that we want to see as a rank season reward. You know, the rank season awards that we've got in the past were fine. I mean, uh, Robinson Cano was okay. Darren Erstad was okay. I don't even remember some of them at this point. But the thing is, all the guys that we got, they just didn't have any power. Now we've got somebody who has power. This card wouldn't even really like work for me on my team because I'm about to have like all the immortals But like this gives me some sort of incentive to go for World Series right now I'm kind of like damn I would like to have this card in my inventory by the end of the season like I'm kind of down so who knows, I may try to get World Series, I don't know, we'll see. But let me know what you guys think about this card down in the comments. He's got big power, he's a lefty bat, he's an outfielder. You can do a lot with this card. I think he's definitely the best ranked season reward that we've gotten so far this season. Also, with the Luis Gonzalez card, if you finish in World Series, you're getting four Stan Musial program souvenirs, and you are also getting a 10-pack packs in a pack bundle and a Diamond Live Series player. So this September World Series reward is hands down the best one we've had all year. This may be the first time I actually try to make a World Series. I don't know. We'll see, but it, it, it looks like a good... Uh, set of rewards, so I'm happy with what we're getting right there. So also to go along with a ranked season reward We're gonna be on September 1st and that means we are getting a new flawless battle royale reward every month We get a new one one or two and uh, this one is another big power bat You can already see him on the screen right there. He's kind of small right in the middle But let's take a look at who it is with a deeper look Ralph Kiner is the new flawless battle royale reward. He's a 94 overall diamond He's a left fielder can also play right um, he's gonna be pretty bad on defense I'm just gonna let you guys know that right now if you get this card he's gonna be pretty shaky on defense I mean he's got 59 fielding with 60 arm strength in the outfield not good the hitting 
very solid. 88 102 contact, 116 96 power, 94 vision. This guy's going to be a good hitter, man. He's going to have a lot of power. He's going to have a lot of, uh, you know, uses at the plate. I like this card too. You know, we want power. Of course, I would like the fielding to be better. If I were to get 12 0 in a battle rail, I would still want to get the Ronald Acuna Jr. Future Stars over this card. I would still want to get Ernie Banks over this card. But I would much rather take this card than Yogi Berra. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are some cards that are better than others, um, but this Ralph Kiner does look pretty good as far as the hitting. Also, tomorrow, look out for a new timed program. Um, the new September one will have all the missions that you need, you know, to get some extra stubs and XP and stuff like that. So make sure to check out that if you're interested. And that's pretty much all the content that we got added in today. So just a new rank season reward, a new um, Battle Royale Flawless reward. Both of them are pretty good. Um, if you guys didn't see, we did get new missions added to conquest destiny on wednesday so if you're looking to complete this program to get eddie murray you can get a little bit closer with the new missions they added so take a look at that if you're interested rewards for this ranked season go out tonight at nine o'clock p.m pacific um, midnight Eastern and then you can start working your way towards Luis Gonzalez right when that happens and then as far as next week we should be getting a roster update that goes over both transactions as well as attributes and then we should also be getting the player of the month for August as well so look forward to two different prediction videos next week going over both of those things so anyway guys that's what we got for Diamond Dynasty today let me know what you think are you excited for the Luis Gonzalez card are you excited for the Ralph Kiner card are you happy happy with that personally for me even though i have cards that are better like the immortals these are cards that i still are am enticed by these are cards that i still want to get i have actually a little bit of drive to go ahead and get to that next level because the card is good the reward is good so let me know down in the comments what you guys think hopefully you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one peace